Jobtron. Since the dawn of time, mankind has strived for one thing. Within the vast libraries of our collective conscious lies a single, solitary dream. We all stand united as one in our common effort to make a Star Wars game where it feels like you're actually using a lightsaber. That distant notion of becoming a Jedi, it keeps us going, keeps us driven as a race of beings. Many have tried and failed. But alas, don't give up hope, for the prophecy day has finally come. The game we have been waiting for all these years has arrived, the one to give us what we have all needed so direly. Star Wars Connect. I don't have a good feeling about this. No, oh, me either. Well, let's just put it in and see what happens when I push the go button. Now just to grab the game. is staring at me! Well, holy hell! Apparently everyone wanted to be a part of this game because there's like a bajillion company splash art animations right at the beginning. Jeez. We're most excited to have you supervise our mission. Connect Star Wars. Believe it or not, I was actually looking forward to this one. The ads were well made and I thought, hey, maybe they could be onto something here. And I mean, the presentation so far is appealing. I mean, freeform lightsaber fighting! You can't beat that idea. Right, so you can either raise your hand over this here button to start the game, or say Xbox. Hmm, because I won't look like a total asshat doing that. Xbox! Xbox! I'm goddamn upstanding with this right now. Xbox! So R2-D2 and C-3PO are always present at the menu screens, talking their talk and narrating what you do. And if you leave the connect area, they get all confused. The commander just... Oh my goodness, you're right. Commander! Commander! Uh, uh, okay, I gotta admit, it's kinda cute. I got a soft spot for clever programming. Mmm, these menus. Real responsive. And by responsive, I mean my one Hot Wheel with the fucked up tires was more functional than this. I want you to watch me try to do this. I want you to watch the whole thing. Just take a look. Alright. One. Two. Three. Alright, maybe I went at too much of an angle. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Let's go in easy this time. Eight. All right, let's go so easy you couldn't possibly miss. Nine. Nope! I don't know who invented buttons. This is way fucking easier. Who needs buttons when you got Kinect? How much you say this Kinect thing was again? $150? No, yeah. It's a completely reasonable price. It's a good webcam. All right, so let's start off with Jedi Destiny Dark Side Rising. That's basically the story mode in this game. There are other minigames included, but we'll get to those in a bit. So I gotta select my Padawan, huh? Yeah. So where's Luke? I wanna play as Luke, or Han Solo, or fucking anybody. I'll play as that guy. I'll play as goddamn that guy. Just give me someone I know. Who the hell are these people? Ara Baroda? Kasi Shauril? Vanilla Druce? Vanilla fucking Druce? What kind of name is that? Okay, if I could just go back. If I could, if I could just go back. If it, just to the, go back to the previous menu. Right, whatever. I'll go with Zitara Man. Why the hell not? So here we are in the Padawan Academy. Excuse me, Padme Academy. Fuck! Oh, look at that. You get free range with your hands. Oh, hey! That's kind of cool, Connect. Not bad. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, just... Stop staring at me like that! Okay, so you get your lightsaber here, and wow, it actually follows your hand pretty decently. I mean, considering it is the Kinect we're talking about. It's a little shaky, but I can forgive it for now. Oh my god, why is my lightsaber on? Oh my god! So the first level is like the Wookiee planet or whatever. I guess it's a planet where everyone does really bad impressions of beloved Star Wars characters. <coughs> Say the same for you. We once did. Long ago. There is a darkness rising in the galaxy, and the Sith Master waits in the shadows. Oh no. Yoda, even though this is technically a hundred or so years before your demise, I think you're already dead. The council thanks you. We know you understand the importance of this undertaking. Okay, that's not even close. Come on. Man, I don't think I could tackle this alone. You know who I need? Let you ah! So this part's pretty cool, I guess. You lean left and right like you're on a speeder. It's decently responsive, but definitely not good enough for it to be anything close to competitive. Just take a chill pill and pretend you're on Endor, baby! 
Also, all you have to do to shoot is go behind someone and it does it automatically. Yay. So here it is, the thing everyone was waiting for. Mowing down baddies with your lightsaber. Come on, Gerard, let's do this. <laughs> It's so easy. It's so easy! You literally just wave your hand around all over the place and you win. Simple as that. And this one move here where you just wave your saber all over the place, just whoo! Somebody had a field day with that one. Your character just sort of auto pads, but you can, and I quote, you can, and I quote, move forwards by doing this. How else would you do it? You know, I want to say I like this, but it's just so imprecise that it barely feels like you're controlling it. You can just ride around all over the place and you'll still kill every last droid like it was your goddamn birthright. It's so close. It's so close to being correct. But it falls just short. I noticed that while I was playing this, I was actually experiencing something I'm not too familiar with. I think they call it a uh, childlike wonder and fun. But then I realized, it wasn't really the game itself, it was more the fact that I was pretending to be a fucking Jedi. Imagination is half the battle in this. I mean, for shit's sake, I had no idea if my moves were even registering or not. I mean, come on, the Kinect can barely handle menu navigation. I was just swinging away like Star Wars kid with a snake in his pants and having the time of my life. You ready for this, Gerard? As unwilling as I'll ever be. Let's do this. <laughs> That's about as much of the main story that I can handle right now. Let's check out the rest of the mini games. Let's begin with pod racing. I actually have high hopes for this one. I was a pretty huge fan of Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer. Man, if there was ever a good thing to come out of the prequels, it was that game. Tight controls, great graphics, amazing atmosphere. Hopefully this one lives up. I mean, the ideal way to play a pod racing game is with virtual pod racing controls. If you haven't played the pod racing arcade game, well, frankly, you're missing out. It's pretty much the pinnacle. So, here we are on Coruscant, one of my favorite places in the Star Wars universe. I have to admit, the graphics and presentation in this mode are great, but just like before, it really falls short in the control aspect. It's terribly imprecise, and it takes no skill whatsoever. Like before, everything's basically on a set track, and while you can move slightly left and slightly right, you'll always end up gravitating back towards the middle. It's either all the way left or all the way right. The Kinect can't pick up the minute detail, which honestly leaves me wanting more. This right here could have been something great if the technology was better, rather than just being a fun distraction. I think it's really saying something when most Kinect games play themselves. I am the controller, huh? Well, I think you might be exaggerating a bit there. Right, next up, Rancor Rampage. Oh, oh, no. That's terrible. Seriously, Jesus Christ, look at this. You just go around as a Rancor and destroy everything and kill everyone. Oh, sweet Jesus. You know, I can't really help but feel like this is out of place in this generally kid-friendly Star Wars game. It's really violent. I mean, this is the worst day of these people's lives. Fathers, mothers, brothers, all slain. Ah, whatever. Yeah, I'm a cowboy and eat. I don't recall the part in the movie where Mos Eisley gets completely destroyed, but they can retcon it later after Jar Jar Binks and young Anakin Skywalker and all three of the prequels. It keeps wanting me to do this charge attack that I swear I just can't get it to do. Next up then, Duels of Fate. Hey, it's got Darth Vader on the front, and it's got the promise of cool lightsaber dueling. Maybe it'll be cool. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. It's just incredibly bland lightsaber fighting where the enemies telegraph their attacks and you block them. Next! All right then, that leaves one last game. One final piece to possibly redeem this heap of lost potential. Galactic Dance-Off. I wonder what that could be. Cloud City's always looking for new talent. You think you have what it takes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so. I can't believe 
believe this! I truly can't believe this one! When I first saw this, I was honestly confused. I just had no idea if what I was looking at was real or not. Was this a joke? Was this in earnest? I, I have no idea. All I can tell you is I am goddamn loving it. Well, if you can't beat him, join him! If I'm not mistaken, I believe they've taken the engine from another Kinect game, Dance Central, and slapped the Star Wars skin on it. And wow. Let's just say Lando, Princess Leia, and Han Solo have never looked more fabulous. I don't even know where I am anymore. I must have felt like an acorn. Don't fall off your horse, you're gonna break your head. You know, for all this game's flaws, I have to admit, I still had a lot of fun with it. It's definitely not the virtual reality future game we'd all been hoping for since the days of playing Super Star Wars on our old CRTs. But there's something to be said for a game that can make us smile in that most innocent of ways. A game that can surprise you with that same charming feeling you get when opening a present on Christmas morning or playing a great arcade game. No, this game is not perfect. In fact, if you're looking at it objectively, it's pretty goddamn terrible. But look past it, and I think you're left with something special. It, it, it's a shitty game, but I had fun with it, okay? Oh, I'll tell you what, there's one last thing on the menu here. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek before we end things. Scan M-Tag? I wonder what this could be. PlayStation Move, now in stores!